Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. I'm Marina and I'm so excited today to show you guys this haul. I have actually had this haul in my house for I think maybe six days but I was so busy running around taking care of actual nonprofit organization business that I just didn't get a chance to upload my uh, video uh, to make the video <laughs> never mind uploaded and I did do some other crafting and things like that in the meantime to the point where I almost forgot I hadn't hold these things and I was starting to put them away and I was like wait a minute I didn't even haul these yet and I'm actually so excited that it worked out like that because I've been using some of the products and they're amazing so I can't wait to let you guys know about them they're literally amazing I yeah they're amazing so let's get into it i'm gonna just show you guys some of the boring things um i did pick up six of these because as some of you may know that are already subscribed to my channel and thank you so much for being subscribed to my channel if you're new please take a moment to subscribe if you're interested in staying in touch with the confessions of a dollar tree family but i picked up six of these because I have a new puppy in the house and he's deaf so training him is really hard and we're gonna need a lot of these and I have a bit of an anxiety fear that we may run out I'm just looking at him right now and I'm like he's such a precious little angel he really is so beautiful when he's sleeping I think I'll include a picture of him when he's sleeping because when he's awake he is a menace he has my cat and my dog in complete terror, but he's so cute that it doesn't matter. The uh, my, my Boston Terrier, who was afraid of nothing, is terrified of him. And the cat is constantly asking to go outside because the puppy just wants to play and play and play. But you know how puppies are. They're teething and it's a lot on the whole entire family, but it's so worth it because he's beautiful. And uh, anyway, so I did pick up six of these. Three of them are already used up. We're going through like a roll a day. He is kind of way we pad train. And just when we think that he's got it, he does not got it. So yeah, yeah, it's been like that. And I picked up lots of mopping, like every anything that will clean my house, I bought. I bought a new mop head just to use for pee accidents. And I could throw it in the wash right now. It goes... On the Velcro, uh, Dollar Tree sells that little gray thing that you screw onto the mop head, and it's like two dollars. And then that piece, if you guys didn't get a good look at it, that piece is actually the, a third dollar that you would spend. But these are actually pretty good. This is my second one that I'm buying. You can wash them and reuse them, and that's what it um, clings to. I just assumed everybody knew what this was, but maybe some folks out there haven't tried it yet. But if you have wood floors, it really does put a shine on it especially since we've been using like spick and span lysol you name it to clean up after the puppy so it started starts to make your floors have like a a residue and this really really buffs them up it's a really good product for a dollar i really love it so i picked up a bo i picked up three boxes of these because i always buy these and i love them and these um, you get six in that. It's a bonus pack. Usually you only get four. And then I picked up these. I bought five of these. These are also the bonus pack. These are the Hawaiian Aloha. They smell so good. But I actually love the Glad garbage bags and I always look to them. And then my husband was telling me the other day, which sometimes I don't realize because whenever I see brand names at the Dollar Tree, I'm like, I want the brand name. But then my husband... Who came with me to the Dollar Tree on this particular day he was like why don't you buy the good sense garbage bags you're always looking for a great deal and in these you get 10 in this one and 14 in this one because the vanilla scented is supposedly better or maybe because of the handles but I was and he was like you only get seven and I was like don't touch those leave them in the cart and he was like these are good garbage bags. You've bought them before. And I'm like, I don't remember buying them. And he's like, you've bought them and they were good. And I was like, are you sure? Because I remember buying garbage bags at the Dollar Tree that were terrible. They were like 
I don't even know. It's like you put the garbage in and it just falls right through. And he was like, no, these aren't them. You should buy these. And I was like, do not touch the glad garbage. Because he kept taking them out and putting these in. And I was like, don't, take your hands off my glad garbage bags, John. You don't understand. I love those. And I'm like, and those are the bonus pack. And he's like, bonus schmonus. They're garbage. He's like, they're, and usually this is like what I would be saying. But I guess my husband is like, it's garbage. Who cares? But I care because if you put stuff in the garbage can and then you put the bag down and it's leaked, it's, it's all over. Like you have to clean your whole house. I hate that. So, um, he was like, trust me. So I did buy I think five or six of these and I have been using them. So I, I don't know where, I know that I didn't use them all up, but maybe he put them away. Um, so I did buy five or six of these cause I love them and I know that I do, but I did buy one of each of these and I'm going to check them out today because maybe there are other, I mean, I go to Dollar Tree like constantly and maybe some of you guys have gone through this whole dilemma yourselves. So now these are the ones with the handles. And I got to admit, I love garbage bags with handles because you can use these for other things. I have a ton of stuffed animals that I'm bringing to the shelter that I had donated brand new stuffed animals. I can fill these bags and carry them to them. and So you can use them for other things. But let's take a look at this garbage bag. Because I, oh, you know what? These are good. I am, ne I, well, I don't want to say that I'm never, and the vanilla scent is good too. You know, wait a minute. Why? Wait a minute. Oh yeah, these are good garbage. These are legit garbage bags. I don't know why I've never, I don't buy these. I'm not going to say I never bought them because my husband swears I bought them. But there's a different brand that the Dollar Tree sells that I, do. yeah, these like have, a rubberiness to them. I don't know if you guys know what I mean, but there's this other brand that the Dollar Tree sells that's like plastic sort of, and it like just break, it cracks. They're, so these are good. Um, oh yes. I have been a fool because I just patiently wait for Glad to get their bonuses so I can get more, but I could be buying the good sense all the time. And the vanilla scented is good. And just for the heck of it, this 14 one that has the flap ties, I like the flap ties for my garbage because it's easy to tie it up. Let's make sure that they're the same kind of bag. They're not even thinner or anything. You get 14 for a dollar. What? That's double what I get in here. Although the Aloha scent is pretty nice, but... I have a ton of essential oils that I can drop into my garbage can and I can literally, this is half price. So you guys heard it here. Thanks to my husband trying to convince me to buy them. He was right. I don't know if I'll never buy the glad again because I feel like whenever I see the glad, I just get happy. I get glad, but you know what? Good sense makes good sense. What? Seriously, that is so cheesy, but true. I'm... I'm sold. I think I'll never buy the Glad again. I'll... I, I do love the Hawaiian Aloha scent, but the lemon scent is like not existent. So, I mean, it's not that big a deal. It is kind of, but the vanilla scent definitely, it smells vanilla-y, which is nice, but you really can just put a drop of essential oil in the bottom of the pail and use any garbage bag that's sufficient to hold the garbage and you're saving a lot of money. You're getting 10 bags for a dollar. That's 10 cents a bag. In this one, you're getting 14 bags for a dollar. That's crazy. That's like seven cents a bag, something like that. This is definitely a better buy. And I'm totally going to never ever push these out of the cart again. Although these are my faves and I will say that I will have a hard time saying goodbye to them, but this is definitely the better buy. If you're a Dollar Tree addict like me and you've been thumbing your nose at the Good Sense bags because you had a bad experience, you know what? I think the other name is Ever Stuff or Ever Tough or Ever Bright. Does anybody else know what I'm talking about? There's another garbage bag that the Dollar Tree carries and they have it in the black and they have it in the white. 
and it comes in a box not the little tiny roughies ones those are like really thin they're more for bathroom garbage but um they come in a box and when you put them in your garbage can they just split they like crack they're not made of stretchy plastic they're made of like not garbage bag garbage pack they they really suck and it turned me off to garbage bags that are do anything but brand name but if you're like me maybe i'm crazy maybe i'm the only one that had this but i'm shocked because I am really open to the possibility of trying things. I love the Dollar Tree. And it actually took my husband to be like, no, 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 those are good. You should buy these. Why are you not buying these? And I was like, get those out of the cart. They're terrible. He's like, no, these are not the ones that were terrible. So yeah, it, did anybody else have that situation happen to them? Am I like just way out there? Please let me know if I have like just gone on and on and on forever for no reason. But if you guys know what I'm talking about, let me know in the comments down below. I was very lucky. I was able to get 17 more bottles of disinfectant spray towards the shelter stash. One of the people that works at the store um, asked the supervisor a question and then she came over and was like, hey, have you done your big charity thing yet? And I was like, well, I, it's not like a thing. I It's ongoing. And she was like, do you do you need more disinfectant spray? I was like, actually, I do. I don't have enough to deliver it. I need at least 75 bottles in order to bring it so that each family can at least get one bottle. And I actually had them in my, the trunk of my car and I counted how many I had. And then when I went back in, she let me buy the difference. So that's awesome. And I will be able to drop off 75 bottles of household um, disinfecting spray which is just like Lysol and honestly becoming harder and harder to get now that the virus is on the rise in New York so I was really grateful to get that and to be able to bring it to the shelter another few items that I picked up because I have been so busy that I have even neglected to make sure to order pet food for my poor cat that literally lives for her cat food that I order from Chewy. So in the meantime, I did pick up a bag of this Nine Lives. I did see Thrifty Tiffany use this on her cats. Now, I don't know if this is any good. I don't think I would use it long term, but I did see Thrifty Tiffany buy it for her cat. And I was like, well, it can't be that bad. And I did buy this Farmhouse Naturals because it's pretty good cat food. It has no corn, wheat, or soy, no artificial colors or flavors, no artificial preservatives, no byproduct meal with probiotics and prebiotics. Now, I like that it has no corn, wheat, or soy because I actually do feed my cat and my dogs um, grain-free cat food and dog food. I feel that it's really good for animals to get high protein in their diet it has been proven to prolong their life. So normally that is what I buy them, but in a pinch, I mean, this is actually pretty good cat food. Uh, I just don't know if she'll eat it. She's very picky. When she doesn't have her cat food, she will go on a starvation diet. So um, yeah, so I'm mixing these together and the Chewy should be here any day now. It might even get here tonight. And then, I did pick up a pack of these Purina Dental Life. They are um, very cool, especially for my teething puppy. I always buy these. I think they're awesome for a dollar. They are a, they're three ninety nine in Stop and Shop for the exact same product, and you get seven chews. And it says chewy, porous texture, dog treats. And there's like a picture of a pretty small dog here. I. I had to pause the video because they saw the bag and they literally knew they were like attacking me. <laughs> but um, yeah, these are really good actually. They're, they promote dental oral care, which I truly believe. And as far as treats go, I think they're a great, they're a great treat. You get seven in this bag for $1. And you know, that used to be good. That would last my, my one dog for a week when and believe me we remember she reminds us she lets us know it's time for my dental treat thank you
But now that we have two puppies, I would like to find more of them. Maybe I will end up ordering them from somewhere in bulk. They're actually more money to get them from Chewy than they are to buy them at the Dollar Tree. So these, when I see these, I do try to get them, but I only found one and I was happy to find it. And then I did find, again, these um, mini bones by Dingo. These are also for small dogs. And it is so cute seeing my itsy bitsy puppy walking around with this in its mouth. But the big dog also enjoys chewing them. You get seven in a pack. And these are like over $7 at the pet store um, at Petco or PetSmart. I forget which one it is, but... I saw them for $7.99 and they're a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So I scooped two more up. I was so happy to find these again and if I'm to see if they're brand names. And a lot of the time it's obvious that they're brand names. So yeah, I think that the pet section has become very exciting lately at the Dollar Tree. I keep finding awesome treats for my pets and it's very money saving for sure. So that um so I did find human treats as well. I'm going to put the video in right here of the food that I bought. And then when we come back, we're gonna go over one of the items. So see you in a second. Purchase eight of the Victor Allen 9.5 ounce maple pecan iced latte chilled coffee drink. I absolutely love this flavor and have already had a couple the last few days. So happy that I found it again. Did pick up seven of these teriyaki beef flavor, no MSG added, chow mein by Nissin noodles. Uh, these are a fast lunch for my son who is currently still on remote learning in school. And I bought eight of the SpaghettiO princess edition, not because we wanted the princess edition, but it's the same thing and he likes these. So I bought eight of the SpaghettiOs and I bought a dozen of these mini beef ravioli and pasta sauce. I personally think that they're not great, but my son absolutely loves them. And since he needs a fast lunch to do school at home, I decided to pick those up. These are interesting by Global Brands and uh, you get 10 packs for $1. I picked up six packs of these because that's 60 cookies packs that I can add into the stockings. Um, hopefully they are good. I think I will taste them later in the latter part of the video. I like to have on hand in my freezer these pepper stir fry by TJ Farm Select. They are a, they're, they come from the freezer section and they're a 14 ounce package. And strangely enough, I have noticed that when you buy them during this time of the year, there is a decent amount of peppers and it's not just all onions. Sometimes of the year when you buy them, it's all onion and no pepper. But this time of the year in the fall, it's plenty of peppers, very little onion. And so I like to get a lot of them. I did buy six and I'm keeping them in my freezer. The pleasant surprise that I also found in the frozen food department of my Dollar Tree. Now I have purchased these from Walmart at I think nine, a nine roll package for I believe maybe $3.99. So the price is not that different to buy them in a three pack roll from the Dollar Tree. But the beauty of this is that in this roll, it's sealed. In this package, it's sealed. And this is the perfect amount for my family. You just pop these three dinner rolls in the oven. And just like it says, ready in five to 10 minutes, fresh dinner rolls. They're this was a new find for me. I've never seen it before. You get eight. It was in the frozen food refrigeration unit. Eight pops, uh, Kellogg's Fruit Loops, ice pops. And my son definitely loves these. They're already in my freezer. The box is empty, but he loves them. And they were a fun find. I bought two boxes. I did pick up six of each of these Hunts 100% Natural fire roasted non-gmo uh diced sauce these have like a little bit of kind of a barbecue i don't know if you guys know what that fire roasted flavor is but these are really nice and chilies um 14.5 ounce can and then this is just the plain diced tomato i like to add this to 
sauces and stuff like that. It's really great. And I bought six of each. I did pick up seven boxes of the Columbia award-winning American pasta. That is the Dollar Tree pasta brand. But the thing that's really great about this is that there's no boiling required. These are oven ready lasagna noodles and they actually have that little stripe in them. I don't know if you could see it, but I love lasagna noodles that have that. They come out really, really thick and delicious and they're oven ready, 12 ounce box. This is never a dollar at uh, my supermarket. It's usually $2 and up. And I don't like that the box obviously is not sealed. So I do put these in a plastic bag when I put them in my pantry. And these are shelf stable until August of 2022. And uh, yeah, so these are great. I bought seven because I honestly, I would have loved to have bought a dozen. I like to make about one lasagna a month. And I think that this is a really great buy. So I definitely stocked up. I do put them in the bag so that they don't get any kind of bugs or anything since I'm putting them in my pantry and not using them every day. Okay, so that's everything I bought. And just to reiterate, because the lasagna noodles are sealed. It's just that they're in a box and they're just in there. They're not in a bag in a box. And I kind of, if I'm going to put pasta away and not use it like right away or within a week or a couple of weeks, I really don't like to just leave my pasta unattended. I know that that sounds a little nuts, but, you know, I do live by the water and we do have, um, I like every house. I live in Long Island. There are bugs in Long Island. There are spiders. There's all kinds of weird, creepy, crawly things that live in attics and basements. I don't actually even have a basement. I have a scary, scary crawl space because my house is built like a boat. It's an original beach bungalow. So we get crazy bugs in this house where I'm just scared. Like I have been terrified. I never saw bugs like this until I moved to Long Island. But um, the most gross thing ever is if you ever have had this happen to you, you open and put a box of pasta in a pot and those little yucky black bugs come out and I'll never forget when I was a little girl seeing that happen in I don't even know where in a, some relatives home and I was like oh my god that's horrific and I remember them like scooping it out of the water and saying oh that happens all the time I was like oh no no that that should never happen of course I didn't eat and then um since then like as an adult I have always put I put a lot of things in the refrigerator that don't even belong in the refrigerator. I'm not going to lie. I don't leave things out. I'm a little nuts to begin with. It's not about the pandemic. I'm just a little crazy that way. But now it being a little crazy is in style. So I'm, I'm really happy about that because, and in a weird way, the pandemic has made my neuroses fashionable. So I'm kind of excited about that because I've always been a little germaphobic, uh, bugophobic, neurotic a little bit not i'm not like crazy but i am a little and now that the you know it is what it is i feel that i have been practicing for a long time to handle this kind of situation unbeknownst to the world but anyhow back to the pasta um my whole situation with the pasta was since i've remembered that happening as a child i always felt like pasta needed to be protected from the outer elements so I always put my pasta in a bag and tie it up. And so that's what I meant. Like if you're going to put these away because they don't have an inner bag that's like sealed because some pasta does have like it comes in a bag. It's sealed. These are just sort of very loosely glued together. And I don't feel that they're sealed enough and things can get in there when you're not paying attention to them. And I don't want that to happen. So I just put each lasagna box in a Ziploc bag or a bag and I wrap it up and tie it and then I wrap them all up and put them away and that I, I have enough for a year so I'm really happy because I saved at least you know 14 bucks because at my supermarket they're like 279 so why waste my money absolutely not not if I'm there all the time and I can buy them they have a ton right now because this is the time of year that they bring them out. I think they bring them out for Thanksgiving because maybe a lot of people buy them for 
the holidays between Thanksgiving and Christmas. And it's like a specialty item that I only see once a year at the Dollar Tree. And I always look forward to it. As a matter of fact, I used up one of my last packs of it about a week ago. And then boom, here it was again. So that's very exciting. And the other thing are these minis. Now, like I said, I haven't, I've had these in the house for a while and I did buy 10 boxes and one has already been gotten into because we wanted to taste them. And I'm going to show you guys what they actually look like. I will tell you this, anything I've ever bought by this global brands brand, I find to be delicious. I also feel like it doesn't have as much sugar in it. Let me see if I'm crazy, but total sugars in this item are 13 grams of sugar. For cookies, I feel like that's not that high. I mean, yeah, 13 grams of sugar is high, but I was going to say that I don't feel like they're as sweet as other cookies, which I like. So I do love things that I've bought so far from global brands. I feel like they don't have as much garbage in them as a lot of food actually that's produced in America because product of India interesting and yeah so I'm going to show you guys now there are two different colors of cookies they have the white cookie with the cream inside or the chocolate cookie with the cream inside and let's say these orange ones these are a white cookie with the cream inside orange cream minis when you open them up you're like oh what is that because it doesn't it smells so good it smells like orangey yumminess now they don't like actually pay attention if the cookie is put together upside down or right side up but who really cares i don't care do you guys care if you care about that you're not going to want to eat these but i will say that uh, my my son opened two packs and I ate one of each pack and they were amazing. The chocolate ones are really yummy. And yeah, the chocolate banana one is, I tasted one cookie, amazing. And he ate, I think it was strawberry. Yeah, it was strawberry. It was really good too. And now this one, the cream inside, you don't get a ton of cream, but you don't really need a ton of cream. Honestly, they're really good. Let me see. Okay, so I took a second bite because I realized that I didn't bite them. I separated it to show you. The cookie to cream ratio may not be um, acceptable to some people. I don't mind because I know that the cream that's inside of these, it's so yummy though. I had to wash that down. But it's really yummy. It has a really delicious smell. And all of them do. And um, the cookie itself is really crispy and good. I think for the amount of cookies that you get, if you're on a budget or if you want to have some extra stocking stuffers, which is what I bought most of these for. But I'm, I will buy it. I think I will buy a couple more boxes maybe to add to the stockings and to my son's you know, snack stash because he obviously really likes them and they're not, they're not crazy unhealthy. They're actually better than an Oreo. I think an Oreo cookie pack this size has like over 20 grams of sugar. These have 13 grams of sugar, which is, I think pretty good. There are 170 calories for six cookies. They're small, but they're delectable. You honestly can share three and three and kind of be satisfied. Um, yeah, so I think these are great. And if you've never bought them or you were like, what kind of cookie is that? You might want to give them a second look. If you're struggling right now and you're on a budget and you're still kind of like a food-related item, so I'll show you these and then we'll go to the next area. I did pick up one of these and I don't know. I, I have bought these in the past. And have had zero, absolutely no success. And I suspect that I may still have no success. But you have to keep an open mind and a willingness in order for knowledge to grow, right? So 
I am going to try again this cupcake decorator set and see if I can accomplish nicely decorating anything. But so far it hasn't happened. We'll see though. We'll see. I And then I did pick up two of these dish drying mats because um, although I did recently buy the buffalo plaid ones for my cat and my older puppy, my older dog, Mabel, um, for their dog dish, I have been keeping the puppy's dish in the bathroom and I don't like buffalo plaid in there because my bathroom is like aquatic and blue. So I bought this to be able to change them daily and um, put her, the puppy's bowls on for now because they cannot eat together. It is horrific what occurs when feeding time goes on between my puppy and my dog. All hell breaks loose. They love their food and they are not willing to even think about sharing. So that's out for now, hopefully. I do have one more pet item and that is the cat collar. I bought this cat collar to try, try to put it on my puppy because every single collar I've ordered, and it still also may be too big. No, I think this, it might be too big. He's really little. But he kind of wants to go outside now and I'm willing to try because maybe he'll magically get potty trained outside and he has not been able to get the grasp the concept of being potty trained inside, which would be a miracle and I would be so happy. But his, yeah, I think it'll work. Um, so it's really cute and I didn't buy it for my cat, although she has one similar. I bought it for the puppy. And it does stretch like a like a bra strap actually and it snaps open so I don't know if it would be safe to take your dog out like in the street I'm not recommending this to anyone I don't want anyone to have any puppy accidents but we're just going like in the backyard with the dog but we're gonna put him on a leash because he's so little god forbid he goes under the fence or something I just want to have a little protection I, I want to have him on a leash because he's really, really little. But I don't think that you could use something like this and walk a dog that might pull off the leash in like a normal street environment. I wouldn't want anyone's dog to get hurt, but I am going to give it a shot. And also, if he has a little bell on, we'll know when he's coming to attack our feet because he's a foot biter. He needs a bell. He needs warning. He needs a warning sign, and this is going to be it. So I was I was like, oh, this is brilliant. I'm going to do it. But I just want to make sure that other people don't think that I'm saying walk your dog on this because I don't know if that's safe. So, okay, yeah, so apparel. So I got 10 of these absolutely adorable hats. They say kids hat. I've never seen these before. They're so cute. I wish you guys could, like, touch these. They're so adorable. I could just see little girls loving these and looking like little polar bears. I mean, they're like teeny tiny for baby girls or baby boys even, but they have these cute little pom-poms and I'm sure that people are buying them and turning them into gnomes. Maybe I should keep one to do that. I am going to be doing a gnome video, but I did get 10 of these for the children in the shelters, you know, for people to pick through and if this will fit their kids, they can take them because I think that this is a good product for a dollar that is really useful and so adorable. But maybe I'll pick up another one for my gnome for my gnome DIYs. I did see these Hanes tights uh, feel the softness size small tights are never a dollar. These are a brand name for little girls um, or even little boy costumes or whatever Halloween costumes. They are size small, fits um, between 38 and 47 inch tall children, and pounds between 38 and 54 pounds. So that's like a pretty good, I actually picked up 10 of these also, because I figured that, you know, it's winter, some moms have to get on a bus with their kids to get them to school in a pandemic, it's cold out, tights are useful item to get and I'm sure that they'll be happy to grab these up and for a dollar that was an awesome find. Hanes 
never a dollar. This is a score. So the next item that I picked up are these diabetic socks. I actually love these socks. They are very comfy for when you're wearing boots. They don't, like I wear go-go boots in the winter. I like boots that go to my knee or I like to wear flip-flops. I almost never wear shoes. I pretty much hate shoes. I don't know what, I don't know what that's about, but I do. And um, when it's really cold out, I don't like to wear socks that are going to squeeze my feet because the boots are already tight. So I love these socks and I picked up two pairs um, because I just, I like to wear these inside of tall boots. They're very comfortable. They don't make those little crinkly lines in your feet or anything like that. And then when you take it off, you're all itchy. I hate that. So these are great. And if you've never tried them, I do highly recommend them for that purpose. Like they're really loose and they don't constrict your feet at all. And if you're wearing tight fitting boots, they don't squish your, I don't know what that is, but I get that because I'm very plump. But either way, I don't like it. Cause then when you take your boot off, you have all those little lines and it's all itchy. I hate that. Do automotive. Cause that's like a little section and it's sort of by the pet section. Um, I did find these front seat floor mat, universal fitting, non-slip mats. And, um, I don't know if Dollar Tree has ever had these before. These are them. But I will say that my car mats, I have a Jeep Wrangler, are very expensive. And even when you use the, and, it, and it's a Jeep Wrangler, it's made for inclement weather on purpose, uh, you know, all terrains. But it's, you know, when they get wet, they stink. So... I think, wow, this is great. That's what they look, this is amazing. Yep, it's exactly what I wanted it to be like. I was just gonna say that I don't like it when my car mat, the, you know, the textile of it, the fabric, it's not fabric, but the carpet of it gets soaking wet because it takes forever for it to dry in the winter. It's been raining so much lately that it smells musty and I hate that. So I bought these and I'm going to put them over my mats because they are expensive to re replace. Jeep mats are not cheap. And I love these. These are so much easier to use for $1 than the mats that we ordered extra. They came, Actually, they came with the Wrangler. They're like the weatherproof ones with the little ridges and you have to store. They're like in my shed. I'm not going to go look for them. I, I hate that kind of stuff. This is great. One dollar, you put it on the rug, it's pouring rain, you use it up all the winter, then when you're done with it, you toss it in the garbage. Or you turn it into a DIY. Who You can do something with this. I'm sure DIYers are going to be making chalkboards and all kinds of things out of these, but me, I'm using these for my car. And I'm psyched, because I think that is a score. A dollar to keep your car from getting musty and mildewy? Yeah all day long and it says I don't always look in the automotive section and I have started to look more and more in the automotive section since I started doing Dollar Tree hauls because I kept seeing people haul this first person who I saw to haul this was Denise from Denise's hauls and I was like I love her she is such an awesome lady because she was like I found these and she was like it's nice to have what did she say she said it's really nice to have a little bit of summer while you're looking in your rear view mirror and facing winter. She just said it so well. I was like, yeah, that is really nice. I must have that. So I've been like, first thing, I walk into the Dollar Tree, there's Christmas everywhere. And I'm like, gotta go to the automotive section. I want those Bahama and Company Lays because I love the summer and I hate winter. I love Christmas, but I really, if the pandemic had not started, my family was already supposed to be living in Florida. So if you get to chant, if you don't know who Denise from Denise's Halls is, you should definitely check out her channel. She's one of my favorite go-to 
YouTube haulers. I always watch her videos and I always love them. And I do love the video where she talked about this because she just said it so well. I can't remember exactly how she said it, but she said it so eloquently that I was like, yeah, that's how I feel all the time, all winter. I need that. And so this is my major, 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 major wish list item. And I bought everybody gets one for Christmas. I don't care if, if they, people think I'm crazy. They could think I'm crazy, but I just love, love, love it. I love the whole Hawaiian theme, the summerness of it. I hope it smells. I don't even care if it doesn't smell good because it will look good. Like how cute is that sitting in your rear view mirror of your car? Like, yeah, yay. It's going to be summer. So, I mean, right now and so excited about it and i'm gonna <laughs> drop that one too and then i'm going to smell it and see how it smells right now wow it says that it's called aruba blue breeze but i'm gonna tell you guys exactly what this smells like this smells like the men's cologne cool water. Does anybody remember that smell? Or maybe is it Fahrenheit? Wait a minute. It smells like Fahrenheit cologne for men. That's, whoa, this took me back to the early 90s. Oh, I like it even more now. So I did get five of them. One of them I've already given to my one of my best friends Gretchen because it was her birthday and I made her like a bunch of things in a bag and this was in it and when she smells it she's gonna be like oh I love this too it actually smells really good nobody had smelled it yet because I guess we were all like oh I don't want to open it yet but I'll just put them in a Ziploc bag I put everything in a Ziploc bag obviously <laughs> you guys figured that out but oh my god I love this how cute is that? What? I almost want to wear it in my hair. When this runs out of air freshener, this is so going in my hair or somewhere. It's so cute. This is gorgeous. This is like jewelry for your car. So I'm really happy that I picked that up. And I hope you guys find it. If you want one, may you find it. Because it is so, it's really a score for a dollar. I'm so glad I found it. And then, unbeknownst to me, I had never seen this. And when I found it, I was psyched. Because clearly, I love car air fresheners. But um, this one is by Refresh. And it says air freshener, uh, hangs anywhere, smell, oh, pink petals. Uh, I have a feeling that means like roses. I hope it doesn't smell like roses. But it's so cool because it has a crystal. Do you guys see that cool crystal? Ah, eh, we're going to open one. I'm opening it. I bought them as gifts. I think they're amazing for gifts. what this smells amazing now how nice is that that is really pretty you don't have to use this in your car you can hang this in your shower curtain like on the on your hanger of your shower curtain and fresh in your bathroom you can hang this in a window like the or like not your curtain but your if you have blinds or something and the crystal will bounce light. I love this. This is so nice. I love, love, love this air freshener. You could do a lot of cute things with this. And it really smells fruity. I can't quite put my finger on it, but I like it. It smells nice. It's very pretty. And it's a great little stocking stuffer for a dollar. If you want to give someone a small gift, buy them a couple of those car car front seat buy them a couple of these front seat mats or whatever they're called an air freshener and some of the um cleaning car stuff that's brand name by armor all 
and put a basket like that together. Who couldn't use that? And one of those snow cleaner things. Yeah, that's anybody that has a car can always use that. It's a really practical. Pick up a couple more of these because this is becoming like a hot commodity now. I am loving gifting these to people with a few masks and a bottle of alcohol, high content alcohol, because alcohol is a really good, you know, antibiotic cleaner and it's, it's perfect. That's what we need. This is a sign of our times. And I've been using the alcohol bags instead of giving people wine. I'm giving them these awesome spray bottles, alcohol that's for cleaning, a few masks, maybe a hand sanitizer in those little skinny bags. And I think it's a very cute kitschy gift. Um, I also picked up in the tool bench area some duct tape in red because I just feel like... I don't know. I feel like maybe I'll need it in red. Something I might need for the holidays to like, I don't know. I just felt like I might need it. Who knows? But if even, even if I don't need it for holiday color purposes, it's still 10 yards of duct tape for a dollar. But I feel like this will come in handy somewhere. So more will be revealed. I'm not sure, but I have a gut instinct that I might be able to do something with this. Okay, so we can look at some beauty and hair care and self-care and stuff like that. In the Salon Select, I'm going to show you guys, were sort of like hard to find for a little while there. I don't know if they disappeared from your Dollar Trees, but they did disappear from mine. And they're back, and I love them. And they used to be a staple. Um, and they're really good products. So one is this frizz control. It's like a smoothing leave in conditioner made of argon oil. It says, it says argon oil from Morocco smooths and protects. And it does it's four ounce and, um, it smells really nice as well. Very baby scented. Like it's got a nice smell to it. And um, it definitely does help. Like, see, I really need it today, but I haven't used it yet. So that's why I've been looking for it. Because my hair has become curlier as I've gotten older. It was never curly. It was pinned straight. And um, this is an instant repair leave-in conditioner. So I never really understood the difference. And when I stand there, I can't decide. And in all honesty, I don't know. Because I've bought them before. They both, they don't smell the same. This one smells coconutty, babyish, and this one smells fruity, fruity, flowery-ish. And um, this one says Brazilian keratin, also four ounces, hydrates and shines, instant repair. And this one says smooths and protects. And this one has argan oil, and this one has Brazilian keratin oil. In all honesty, they both kind of feel like they're doing the exact same thing. But when push comes to shove, I like this one better because it smells to me better. But um, I don't know if it will do different things for different people's hair. So I can't say for sure that I feel like there's any difference between them. They look and feel exactly the same to me. They're both like white when you push them out. They look like conditioner. And you're almost like, oh, is this going to be in my hair? Um, is it going to make a mess of my hair? But it doesn't. It really, your hair really absorbs it and it works great. But I just don't know. I'll even put it in right now because I got it all over my hair, my hands. But I, I just don't know. I, I feel like there is no difference, honestly, but I'm sure that in certain people's hair, there may be a difference. For me, I haven't really, I don't see a difference, but I did buy both of them to show you guys that there are two different ones, but I prefer the smell of this one, if that makes any sense, because I just don't, I don't feel like there is a difference, but there has to be, so, so there's that, that's it, so item that I'm so excited to share with you guys I had seen on Denise's hauls as well 
and I can't remember which package she got or if she got them both, but she had it in her hair. And as soon as I saw her video um, thumbnail, I was like, oh, I want that. Did she get that from Miss A? And I do remember that these were available at Miss A also, Shop Miss A, but um, I think that you would get the same color at that time for Miss A. It would be like this one and also a square one in the same color. And I didn't get a chance to order them because they sold out at Shop Miss A, but I love this version even better because you get four different colors for $2 as opposed to having to spend $4 for um, different colors. And I just think that they are so cute. I absolutely love this for the holidays and I will totally be wearing this during Christmas season. I'm excited, I love it. And it comes in hot pink, really cute. That was the one that Denise was wearing, I was jealous. And it comes in this cute teal blue and the gray. Eh, the gray's not my favorite, but sometimes you just feel like wearing a gray clip and you got it. So two bucks and I'm so excited that I found these. I really wanted these. These are like for me. I bought them for me. I don't get a lot of things for me, but when I do, I'm so happy. And um, the other item that I bought for me that I was really happy to find again was I did find some flower products. I found a um, lip suede that I found before. And the name of the color is Coral Floral. Strangely enough, I'm not wearing it today, but lately I've been wearing it almost every day. It's my go-to red lipstick now. I love the feel of it. It's a really good product and I've been using it, so I will swatch it for you guys in case anybody out there hasn't seen it. It's just a beautiful red. It's really a nice red and of course I use it with my Wet n Wild um, pouted out lip liner that it's like a gel lip liner. It's awesome. So it mixes really well. And I love this Drew Barrymore product. It's my favorite. So I was so happy it was the only one. Maybe someone returned it. They had bought a couple and they didn't need it. Because I have not seen this in my store. In a, it, It's been a while since this was on the shelf. And I don't think they brought them back. So yeah, it was like meant for me to find that. Because I was thinking... Ugh, what am I going to do when I run out of this lipstick? I'm going to be really upset. I love it. And now, boom, it came back for $1. Because I even had priced it on eBay. And it was just, I was like, I'm not buying it on eBay. Let's see what happens. And then I found this. And uh, it's called Eyes on the Prize Teal We Meet Again EC3. And um, it's like a teal eyeshadow, chubby. But I have a very, very good friend who is a vegan and doesn't like to wear products that are tested on animals and she's very picky about everything being like organic and healthy and uh, Drew Barrymore's products are made with really good products like they don't have any crap in them basically and so I feel like she will like this because she actually wears a lot of blue eyeshadow so I'm gonna put this in her bag as a stocking stuffer I think she will really enjoy it and I only found one, so I'm not going to um, swatch it, but it was meant for her, and the red was meant for me. So yeah, I'm very happy that I found that, because I was like, oh, I should have gotten that for her. She would like it. And then, boom, there it was. And now, wish list items. A few weeks ago, I had hauled the two-in-one shampoo and conditioner, and uh, I had smelled them, and I didn't hate them. I thought that they were nice for men. They're not um, super strong scented, but they do have a fresh, clean scent. And because um, I had seen some people say that they didn't think they smelled great and all that, but I felt like they were good scented for men. I like them. And I did buy the shampoo and conditioner, but I was like, are they ever going to bring any of the other stuff into the stores? And then I found these. So I did complete the shampoo and conditioner. With these are the cedar wood and eucalyptus body wash and the charcoal and bamboo. So I'm going to put this with the charcoal and bamboo two-in-one shampoo and conditioner so that they get the complete experience. And I have the cedar wood and eucalyptus two-in-one and I'm going to put this with it so they get the complete experience. But then, thanks to Erica Fuller, I found these because 
I had looked and looked and looked and looked and I was like, they must have come and gone because I can't find them. And I did find this mangled one, but I still got it. And this one, because she shared in her video and I don't even remember in all honesty where in the heck it was, but um, it's been, it's probably gone already at this point, but she shared that she was there and like her walkthrough and that they had it. And I was like, oh, I'm on it, I need that. And I actually really would have loved to have been able to buy a lot of these with these for teenage boys in the shelters. But um, I really, I found two. That's it. That's all that were left. And it was meant to be because these are completing some stocking stuff for gifts that I'm gifting within my family. Um, so with this, you get the men's aftershave lotion and shave cream, which I think is pretty cute, actually. And the same thing with the other, the cedar wood and eucalyptus and the charcoal and bamboo. And I'm going to try to open that and fix it because it was the only one of, they only had one of each left. So I scooped them up. They did have a few of these, but I didn't buy them because I was like, I'm never going to find the other stuff again. So I'm not even going to start looking again. I've been looking for three weeks and I feel very confident that something else will come that will be good for teenage boys. If not, I can always do headphones and five and below stuff. I usually get really good things for teenage boys at five and below. Dollar Tree is not usually the best place for that, but I do have a small stash of men's um, like body sprays. They did have the Axe spray like in March for a little while that I picked up and things like that that I've collected. So I have stuff like that, but I would have liked to have find new ones to share with you guys if you're looking to make baskets for your loved ones. But I've not really had a, a great deal of luck. I guess people, people scoop up men's stuff quick because it doesn't happen all that often that you find great things for men at the Dollar Tree. And then I did find just one of these, the Perfect Shave. And they did have this out a while ago and I didn't find it and now I found it. And I'm going to include, inside of the box comes, what comes inside of this box? Wow. What? This is so cool, guys. Okay, so The Art of Shaving is a brand name. That's what I thought, because I was like, is this like a bootleg or what? Because I know that The Art of Shaving is like a really good brand name. But now this is... Wow, this is crazy. If you guys... I can't believe what's in here. It's basically all of their products. I mean, all of their, you know, like one of... You get a little teeny travel unscented shaving cream. Oh no, you get two unscented shaving creams and you get an aftershave balm and a pre-shave oil. And they're basically like travel tester size. And then you get a $25 off the full size kit. Now, and this, see that right there, $25 off the full size kit. And it has a barcode, so it's a coupon. And um, there's no expiration date on it, which is amazing. And you can use it on a thing if this coupon is something good. And I have a feeling that it is because The Art of Shaving is a very good company. And that's why I was like, wow, is that real? And it is real. So cool. I'm glad I found that. Our rebuy. I shared this item with you, these items with you and I think maybe two videos ago. I just want to reiterate that if you see these, do not pass them up. Literally, this one gets rid of wrinkles. Like I almost want to do, I think I will record it every day and mark the difference in my skin because I have been using this every night and I am literally noticing a noticeable difference in the wrinkles on my forehead. And I am the first one to say that is a bunch of bull. You know what? Because I paid, one time I paid 
it was a devastating birthday that I was just having a very hard time aging and I was very upset about my age and the condition of my wrinkle situation. And I went to the mall and my husband and I got roped in by one of those people in the mall that's like, come on, want to buy it, blah, 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 whatever. And so I get roped in and the product was really good. I think it's called Khalees. It is a good product. It, it like magically made the wrinkles under my eyes go away. But, you know, it only lasts a couple of hours and it's 400 bucks a pop. And my husband was like, if it makes you happy, buy it, dear. And he was like, I'll buy it for you. I'm getting it for you. It makes you happy. Just get it. Because I was so depressed. But um, I do use it. But then I'm like, this was $400. I don't want to use it all the time. It makes me upset. I don't want to ever buy it again. And then I bought this because I was like, that packaging is so interesting. I do remember, and I do remember buying it in the past and saying to myself, that stuff was pretty good. But I didn't really pay that much attention to it. Now that I've gotten a little older and maybe a little more wrinkled, I'm starting to pay more attention to what gets tightened and where. And I have to say that this product is the bomb. Like it is really good. Get it. If you haven't bought it yet, make sure to find it and get a couple. Get three. Get three. I bought three of them so far. I now have three. This is the one I've been using and I have two backups because I don't want to ever not have it again. I literally love it. It is making a notable difference to my skin. It's a night repair skewer. Let me know if you guys have tried it and are happy with it because I'm really, really ecstatic with it. If anybody out there else has tried it, please let me know and let me know if I'm losing it because I don't think I am. I'm really crazy when it comes to skin products and I'm really, really happy with that. And I have to say that I really like these as well. Um, the Bright Skin Serum, I like the smell of it and I've been using it more over here and I do feel like uh, I've been using this every night. Every single night I've been using it and I completely feel it working. But then this stuff, I've been using like in these areas of my skin and I definitely noticed that I have like a brighter, rosier skin complexion. So I really like it also. Um, like right now, I have like a redness to my cheeks that I, I can just see the difference. It is definitely helping my skin. And the under eye serum is also really great. I really love it. And the reason that I'm showing you guys this again is because I did find the eyelash enhanced serum and I just, I feel really positive about it because I've had such a great um, experience with these other products that I'm really hopeful that this will maybe grow back my eyelashes because I definitely wore way too many fake eyelashes in the 90s and um, I honestly didn't have that much eyelash to begin with and I don't have much left now and I don't even care anymore because I, whenever I put on fake eyelashes, I end up getting like an eye problem. But um, this has castor oil in it. So if you're allergic to fish, I think that if you're allergic to fish, you can't use this. Isn't castor oil enhancing serum made with castor oil? And I did see others haul it and I hadn't found it. And I was like, oh, I'm probably never going to find it. And then I did find it and I was thrilled, thrilled to pieces to find this. And I think I also owe Erica Fuller thanks for that because I had found the other ones and I had not seen this anywhere, anywhere, anywhere. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you haven't checked out Erica Fuller's channel, she's been around forever, but my favorite YouTubers to watch and uh, bizarre reason and you've ended up here and never there, please do check her out. She does like daily hauls and she is wonderful. She is like my go-to. If I have a wish list item that I cannot find, I'm like, Erica has already found it. Let me watch every video because she is on it. She just knows where everything is at. She's amazing. I am amazed with her true stamina at the Dollar Tree. So yes, thanks to her, I may get eyelashes again. Thank you, Erica. So um, that's a rebuy. Um, because I did actually make a ton of baskets with these and I have shipped them out to some people. But um, another item that I rebought, because I 
bought a bunch of these to use for the shelter, but I actually bought one for myself and I have it in my bathroom, but I realized this is also a great item to use in your car. It's like the perfect place to use this. It's very small. Um, you can put it in your trunk even. I mean, I have an SUV, so if I put something in my trunk, it'll waft all the way to the front because sometimes you don't want it to be too strong in the car. It might make you sick. But um, this doesn't actually come out too strong, I don't think. So I love the idea of putting it in my cup holder and using the aromatherapy diffuser in the car. I, I'm so excited. When I thought of it, I was like, Ugh, I'm brilliant. This is the most brilliant thing ever. Meanwhile, I'm sure everybody's doing that, but I was so excited. I was like, oh, I need another one of those. I'm going to use it in the car. And it dawned on me when I was getting all these air fresheners. And then I saw this and I was like, what? Why didn't I think of that? Duh. It's like perfect for the car. Then I picked up three of these and let me tell you, there were only three of them. These are like the most coveted items in the universe. I actually needed more than three because I want to make another set for other people. And I had to resort because I looked everywhere and I had to resort to buying these online <laughs> like because I couldn't find them anywhere and I just want to get it done. Um, because I think that it'll be so cute what I'm making out of them. I want to make myself one and I want to make them for someone else. So I ended up with six, but I bought these three at my Dollar Tree and I felt like I had hit the lotto because I don't even know, like, do they even make these anymore? I, I just never see them anymore, ever. But they're so overly DIY'd that the minute these come into the store, they are scooped up. And they're actually wonderful for pedestals to do like bathroom DIY candle holders and I mean, kit, like, a, you know, cotton ball holders. And you guys have seen it. They're wonderful for tear trays for everything. But there are other things that people could use. But this is like their go to thing. And I was like, whoa, it's the mythical candle holder. And then I looked and looked and looked. There were only three. So I was happy to get them. And I still had it. And then the ones that I ordered, I paid like 20 bucks for, for three of them. But that's neither here nor there. I just really needed them. And I want to make the thing that I'm making for my friend. Um, then I, I did get these cool holiday loot bags because I do have lots and lots of gifts to wrap and little stocking stuffers to give out. And kids can just put what they choose even in these bags. But they're so cute with the... I just love this print is just so adorable. Love, love, love these loot bags. And you get six loot bags for $1. It's a great deal. Package of Crafters Square Baker's Twine because I was never lucky enough to get either the red or I couldn't find this color in the big one. I know people have hauled it. But I never did. I found every other color but that one. And I just really needed that one. And honestly, I don't really need a lot of it for my candy-themed little world that I'm going to be making. So I decided to go ahead and just pick this up and make what I want to make and be okay with it. Because it's more than enough. You get three of them. I might find a use for the other ones. They're cute to wrap gifts with. Um, yeah, so for three for a dollar, it's still a great deal. I didn't get the huge one, but you know what? It's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. And I did get a ton of these. I think maybe 20 of each kind so that kids can take this and go into their home, their, you know, rooms at the shelter and do it maybe with their families. Because normally I would have these out and a crafting station with the Girl Scouts usually come and help us do DIYs with the kids. Um, but none of that's happening this year. So I did pick up a ton of these to just give out and the kids can take them to their room. And there's two instead of just one because maybe their mom or dad or whoever is their older sibling or, you know, each kid can get one. And I bought a bunch of them. I think they're so cute. You get a snowflake and a stocking and you get a snowman and a Santa. And these are probably a lot harder to paint than these are. But, you know, kids will do whatever they want with them. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's fine. 
Podge because I love Mod Podge. I am like obsessed. I love the shiny one. They do now, maybe some guys, some people haven't ever noticed, but the Mod Podge comes in high shine or matte. The orange one is the high shine. This is the one that I love. And then the yellow one is the matte version. It's not my favorite. I love the shiny, shiny Mod Podge. And I got five of them. And I'm sure that you could get a way better deal for $5 somewhere else. But like I say, when I'm in the Dollar Tree, I'm in the Dollar Tree. If it's in the Dollar Tree, I'm getting it there. So that's what I did. Next item that I picked up is this sheet of stickers with these cute, beautiful mermaids with all different hair colors. And um, I do have these two young fans in Florida that watch my videos and their mommy who absolutely love mermaids and this is going out to them. You know who you are. Four by six frames because although you can put pictures in this way, you can also flip it this way and do whatever you want with it. It's a really good size. I mean, the frames at the Dollar Tree, they... Some of them are terrible, and this is the kind that's terrible, but the size is really cool, and I did get those window clings, and one of them is a train, so I'm feeling like it's going to be living here, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But my hot cocoa bar with a train of candy-looking stuff, I think this will work, so I picked it up for that reason. I think it's a really good size frame if anybody's out there that wants to, like, do DIYs and stuff because I could see home welcome I could see putting those metal signs that the Dollar Tree is always selling in here you could do a lot of good stuff with this but and maybe I will I don't even know I don't know what I'm doing with it but I just had to take it home it's a good size at least I did get a whole bunch of these um I don't know why I went through this whole crazy thing where I couldn't find curtains um, I went online ordering them will take I'll get them from like if I order them online from China I won't get them till after Christmas and I can't find my holiday curtains so I bought like four of these thinking I could do something with them I don't know if I can I'm gonna go to Joanne's fabric tomorrow and see if they have anything good there but I really just couldn't find my Christmas curtains and I just bought four of these because I thought maybe I could hang them and turn them into some kind of a curtain or maybe like a side curtain because I do have like a beautiful white tablecloth that I use as a curtain and I just kind of wanted to add some color to it for the holiday and maybe I will end up using these. I don't know because it's just going to be me and my family here and I just haven't had any luck online. It seems like everything is sold out. Maybe I haven't been looking in the right places and I did pick up four of those, but if I don't end up using them, I can always give them to other people. They could always use them to put over their small tables or whatever. They can always get used at a dollar a piece. I pick them up just in case. And if I don't use them for myself, I will give them to the shelter. And that is everything. Commenting on the channel and watching my videos. I'm so grateful that you watch my videos. And I'm so grateful that you've joined the Confessions of a Dollar Tree family. I really appreciate you guys. And um, I don't want to take up any more time because this video is long enough. So I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Stay safe and stay savvy, guys. Bye-bye.